In 2004, a neonatologist named Mary Newport received heartbreaking news that her husband had been diagnosed with Alzheimer's. As his disease progressed, she couldn't help but dedicate herself to studying the latest research and reviewing the latest clinical trials on Alzheimer's. She came across a patent application for a medical food referred to as AC1202, which she discovered was just a fancy name for medium-chain triglyceride oil. Mary's husband was scheduled for a screening for a new Alzheimer's clinical trial the next morning and was not accepted due to scoring a 14 out of 30 on a memory test, which indicated his Alzheimer's had progressed too far to be a test subject. Part of his assessment was drawing a clock which showed that he was now on the verge of severe Alzheimer's. After these disappointing results, Mary decided to give MCT oil a shot and knew that coconut oil contained around 60% medium chain triglycerides. The next day, her husband had another screening, so she administered seven teaspoons of coconut oil to him that morning. Surprisingly, he scored four points higher and 18 on the same test as the day before. After these promising but not conclusive results, they decided to keep the doses of coconut oil going, and as they did, his symptoms diminished rather than progressed. After only 14 days, he was asked to draw a clock again, and his clock went from being a few random shapes and numbers to a drawing that anyone could identify as a clock. During the first months of adding coconut oil to his diet, they witnessed his personality and sense of humor return, tremors and visual disturbances were resolved, and he was able to resume normal activities they thought he would never do again. I know this story makes MCT oil seem like some sort of miracle drug, but really the astonishing regenerative effects on the brain are due to the production of ketones through the breakdown of MCTs. Through supplementation of coconut oil or MCT oil, or a low-carb, ketogenic diet, we can produce ketone bodies which have incredible health benefits. To describe how ketones have this incredible impact on the brain for Alzheimer's patients, we first have to understand the way Alzheimer's affects the brain negatively. With a standard Western diet, glucose is the primary fuel source for the brain. The brain and other organs in the body use glucose from nutritional intake of carbohydrates to produce ATP or adenosine triphosphate, which is the energy source for all processes in the body. In Alzheimer's patients, mitochondrial function is abnormal. You can think of mitochondria as working like gasoline generators, but instead of using gas to generate electricity, the mitochondria use glucose to produce ATP. In cases of Alzheimer's, it's been observed that due to insulin resistance, glucose has trouble penetrating the cell wall and entering the mitochondria. PET scans have shown vast differences in a normal brain versus a brain with Alzheimer's. The uptake of glucose is severely decreased, resulting in a lack of available energy for the brain. This is a problem that's also seen in other areas of the body with individuals diagnosed with diabetes, which is why Alzheimer's is now being referred to as type 3 diabetes or diabetes of the brain. The amazing thing about ketones as an alternative fuel source is that they do not need insulin to allow them to enter cells and mitochondria. They're therefore able to bypass insulin deficiency and insulin resistance in the brain. In the past decade, there's been a ton of tests done on the effects of ketones on the brain of Alzheimer's patients, and the results are becoming irrefutable. In a survey of 184 individuals with dementia who were given a regimen of medium chain triglycerides, an incredible 167 of the 184 showed quantitative and qualitative improvements. That makes MCTs 91% effective on a variety of different forms of dementia. More specifically, 59% had improved memory and cognition, 42% saw improvements in social behavior and mood, 35% regained speech and verbal skills, and 24% were able to return to regular daily activities. Through this same method of ketones providing new energy pathways, a ton of other diseases can be effectively treated. Diseases like Parkinson's, multiple sclerosis, ALS, type 1 and 2 diabetes, and ketones have even shown improvements in some forms of autism. These new energy pathways aren't the only way in which ketones can treat and prevent diseases. It's been observed that energy production systems of cancer cells are not quite as dynamic as the basic human metabolism. Cancer cells are huge consumers of glucose to meet their high energy demands to grow and spread throughout the body. Depriving them of their only fuel source can reverse growth and eliminate cancer cells altogether. Ketones also provide astonishing antioxidant effects and are able to enter cells much more efficiently due to their smaller molecular size. The effects of ketones as antioxidants vastly reduce free radicals and oxidative stress 
and Dr. Richard Veach, a leading ketone researcher for the past 40 years, has now discovered they could even provide protection from radiation to human tissue. These benefits that I described just skim the surface, and you definitely don't have to have a disease to reap the benefits of ketones and ketogenic diets. For more information, check out the other videos in this series like Ketone Effects on Athletic Performance, Ketones as a Brain Hack, Ketones for More Sustainable Energy, and Ketones as a Healthy and Effective Method of Weight Loss.